ended up playing uh, PLL season right up until the end of September or close to the end of September and then got married on the 30th. So it was pretty busy, but we got it done and now uh, time to focus on NLL season. So happy to be here. Are you carrying that momentum from that championship this summer into this season, do you think? I hope so. I sure hope so. How do you do that? Um, I mean, winning is a mentality. You want to kind of win at everything you do, whether that's in the gym or in practice or in a game. So um, to be able to have that in your back pocket and know what that feeling was like and, and know how you got there is definitely some value to bring to the team this year. Well, we also just re-signed you to the Calgary Roughnecks. So tell me the best part about being a Roughneck. Um, I love the fans. I love playing in the Saddle Dome. I, I have some family here, um, and now I have more family here now that I'm married because um, Eva's family uh, is from Calgary or lives here. So I'm um, really happy to be playing the Saddle Dome in front of friends and family, and uh, we have the best fans in the league. Well, now that you're out here at training camp getting things going, do you have some advice for these new guys at training camp and what they should be focusing on? Don't talk when uh, Coach Milowski is talking, and uh, make sure you pay attention to detail. How do they stand out in this camp as well? Um, you, you try to fly under the radar, to be quite honest. Uh, there's a lot of situations where we try to pick out the guys with the high, high lacrosse IQ. And if you're doing the right things, you go on notice. But if you stop a drill, that's when it kind of starts to bring light to maybe a mess up that you might have had. So flying under the radar, being a team player, and uh, obviously contributing where you need to. And do you have a certain focus heading into the season? Yeah, definitely on just more of a defensive mindset. Um, I'm, I'm fairly good between the lines, and that's not something that I really need to kind of work on or improve upon just because it's it comes as like second nature at this point. Um, but playing two-hand tough defense and cross-checking hard and making sure I'm communicating with my teammates, so uh, just the kind of little things like that to try to get me to the next level defensively. Is that kind of the ultra focus of this team this year with – the moves that happened or didn't happen in the offseason is the defensive aspect. I mean, is that where the focus is going to be with this team? I don't think it's a secret that we're bringing pretty well everyone back on the defensive end, and we're going to be pretty strong back there. Um, obviously, we lost Tyler Burton to Panther City in the offseason, but um, we'll try to fill that hole at the faceoff X. But we brought in Jeff Cornwall, who's extremely talented and going to be great for us in transition. We, we didn't have too many left-handed defensemen last year, so bringing him in is huge. And um, like I said before, I don't think it's a secret that we're going to be good defensively. So we just got to keep doing what we were doing last year. And how does that change in the identity of this team? Or is it the same or is it are we starting fresh with an identity? Tough to say. I guess we'll find out on December 10th. So, um, yeah, hard to say right now, but I, I hope that we have a new identity this year and, and we can uh, change the outcome of last season. Like I said before, the fans, um, they're, they're second to none. We have the best fans in the league, and uh, playing in front of friends and family is, is always fun, and I love the city, even though it snows a ton. I really like being here, going to Flames games. Um, couldn't ask for anything better. So are you an adopted Calgarian now or something? I, th I think I might be, yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's, uh, okay, well, you know, I mean, uh, we welcome you if that's the case. I mean, <laughs> and how do you build off last year? I mean, everything just was, for you, was personally was up, up, and up. I mean, all right, too. I mean, so where, where, do you, where do you build from that? There's, there's a ton of areas where you might not notice when I'm on the field that I'm trying to build on, but uh, the mental side of the game is huge. Uh, I worked with a sports psychologist last year, and it, it did wonders for my game. Um, helps me save energy and not get frustrated or upset with anything that I can't control. And then uh, getting better in the gym, getting better on the defensive end. I could give you a list of 50 things that I'm working on this season. So hopefully I keep that trajectory upwards.